This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says, the hypotenuse of a right triangle has a length of 12 units and a side that is 7 units long. Which equation can be used to find the length of the remaining side? So in order to answer a question like this, you have to know the Pythagorean theorem. And again, on the ASVAB and PiCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, you do have to commit some of these basic formulas to memory at some point. The formula for the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of a right triangle and c is the hypotenuse respectively. In this case, we know that the hypotenuse has a length of 12 units, so c here is going to be 12. And we know one of the legs is 7 units, so I'm going to say uh, a is going to be 7. And we want to know the length of the remaining side. Since the length of the remaining side, that is b, is unknown, let's just let it be equal to x. Again, in math, we usually use x to represent unknown values. So let's plug those values into the Pythagorean theorem and solve accordingly. So this becomes 7 squared plus x squared equals 12 squared. Again, I got all these values from down here. And now we want to know the length of the remaining side. Again, the remaining side is x, so we're going to be solving this equation for x. So what I'm going to do is subtract 7 squared from both sides of the equation. In doing so, this crosses out. This says x squared is equal to 12 squared minus 7 squared. And as you can see, we do not have to simplify this any further. In fact, this matches answer choice D, so we're done with this one. All right, so again, you have to commit these basic formulas to memory at some point to be successful on the ASVAB.